Well, it's been a while since I did any ram pump stuff, but it's finally thawed out enough to do such. Uh, I have a IBC toad up there and 50 feet of two inch pipe running down to a two inch ram pump of my own design. To an extent, it's uh, kind of a standard format, except it has a special modified waste valve. This is what I'm talking of my own design specifically here. It has a, it's a spring-loaded inline check valve that I have gutted the innards of and I've saved the, the disc that's inside. And I printed this guide here, which uses a standard uh, eight millimeter linear guide. And this is an eight millimeter polished ground rod that I have machined on my lathe with threads. Uh, so let's see how it works. I'm, this is literally the first time I've run it. I'm going to shut off the outlet here. Uh, this is a normal swing check valve to keep the water in the chamber there. And I've already filled this with water. I think all the air should have purged out by now. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Ha! Ah, it's working. We should have some pretty good output here, too. Excellent. You can see the whole, the whole assembly is shifting slightly every time it hammers. Uh, part of the advantage of this style of valve is that I can add weight here and hold it down longer to get more flow and let it trigger off at a higher water velocity. So that should develop much more pressure and allow it to pump much higher. Uh, at the same time, I can adjust how far down this goes. I'll just put my, my hand there. And it, no, it's not liking that. But I can adjust these threads here so that it doesn't have as much stroke and it doesn't require as much water. So it can also run in uh, low head or low flow situations and pump a lot of water, hopefully. Uh, okay, I'm gonna add a uh, pressure gauge, add some weights here, and then we'll see what it does when we come back. All right, here we are set up and ready for an operational test. Over here, I do have a pressure gauge installed. I've adapted it from one inch, including a union here, down to three quarter inch, because that's all the fittings that I have are three quarter inch from other testing. If you're pumping long distances, it'd probably be a good idea to have one inch to reduce friction due to fluid velocity in a pipe. So this is the slider valve. It's just down, the system's empty right now. So I'm gonna open this up. It should automatically start because this system just it really wants to run and there we can see it running even with the output unrestricted with well uh, 50 feet of garden hose as the only restriction and even then we are getting uh, what is that? 9 PSI, up to 9 PSI there. <clears throat> so real quick, I'm going to turn off the output so I can add this nozzle, which will restrict it down and simulate uh, more delivery head. Make sure that this is open all the way. And now with a little bit of simulated back pressure, we're getting up to 13 PSI. Um, something that we can also do, I will shut off the ram pump by forcing it to stay up. Which will allow that to go down. And I will close this off. This is the static head pressure that the system's running on. This is the pressure that is just in the pipe, which is uh, 
almost six PSI. Now I can open this up again and to restart it, what I do is I just press here. Now it's going again. We can see that the pressure is increasing. Now, if I close this, we can see a maximum static pressure. There, that's closed and off now. Okay, it seems the static pressure is gonna stop at 20 PSI with an untuned waste valve. Now, the way this waste valve is designed, and I, I still have to work on it, is if we add weight, you stop. There. And it just wants to run so much. There's a little bit of a leak. I don't have a perfect seal there. So if we add a little bit of weight, and I'm, I just have some washers here. <clears throat> All right. And we start it again. We should get a much higher static pressure because there's more force holding things down. So that valve is held down longer, allowing more velocity in the drive pipe to develop. And when it slams shut, that velocity has to turn into pressure. Now, unfortunately, it's only going up to, what is that? One, two, three, a little over 23 PSI. And part of the problem there is I can't add enough weight to this to hold it down. Uh, I need to modify this. Also, the water coming up is getting deflected by this weight, and the water pushes the weight up because it collides with the washers here. Uh, I have a new design of this that will deflect the water away from the weights, so the weight's shape and how much there is should not affect the tunability of it. But for temporary measures, what we can do is I have a, a nifty weight adder here. Oh, it's got a branch sticking off, there we go. And I can hold this down. So you can see how much water velocity we're missing by not having sufficient weight to hold it down. And we can see that our pressure there is increasing significantly. It's up to about 35 PSI. 35 PSI with five PSI to begin with is a seven to one pumping ratio, which seems really common for ram pumps. I was hoping I'd get a little bit higher, but maybe I can with a, a different drive pipe setup that has more head height. And then when I let off, water leaks back past the, the swing check valve here, and the pressure leaks back out. Now I can open that nozzle up, and we can see what it does. We get a lot higher pressure, even at such a large flow, by forcing this valve to stay open longer and develop more velocity in the pipe. All right. And now the pressure in the tank is bleeding off through the hose. And it's almost gone. So the water system here is, again, like I said, 50 feet of two inch PVC ram pipe. Not ram pipe, just pipe, water pipe. Um, to get even higher pressure, we can use a metal pipe. Uh, also, adding some sort of stop so that the pipe doesn't, or so when it rams, it doesn't pull the pipe down. You know, if it has a solid backstop, that would help. Uh, in the course of this video, I used this much of an IBC tote. You can see the water line right there. 
and this IBC tote I have been filling up with spring water that normally we use for the hydro system, but I still don't have that set up. So now I gotta fill that back up with uh, spring water. I want to characterize this pump and my other pumps and measure the delivery pipe flow at various pressures and delivery rates and the waste valve consumption. So I will have the waste valve running in here and then between this and another tank, this will be the pump tank, not, not that kind of pump, an electric pump to pump the water back through the system. So between this and that, I'm gonna have a, a flow meter, a one inch flow meter. So it should be able to tell me how much water that's consuming and how much water it's delivering. So we'll get like a, an actual percentage efficiency, uh, which will help us determine how to proceed, I guess. I do have half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch ram pump kits for sale on eBay, which is, seems to be the only place that people buy them. So that is something to consider if you are interested in building something like this. I do plan on offering this for sale. I need to do a little bit more modification of the waste valve system there and add weights. But that's uh, a future video. I wanted to stop here because I have enough for a video and it seems like I get uh, feature creep issues with all of my projects. So I'm cutting it quits here, so you guys have a video for the weekend. Bye!